This is CBS 8 News Live at 6.30. Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo Chiquetto. This extreme heat is blanketing all of us, but not every neighborhood is feeling it the same way. UC San Diego researchers say some communities are hotter than others, and it's got nothing to do with microclimates. They looked at urban heat and found that communities which are predominantly black, brown or Asian are hotter. But why? CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes is live in the South Bay tonight to explain. Kirsten. Hey there guys, we are here at the National City Public Library because this is one of the area's cool zones where people come and beat the heat. Now that study from UC San Diego says that communities like National City and other minority communities suffer from urban heat because their homes and buildings are not designed to keep them cool and because they lack green spaces. I like the shades. I like the the trees that it gives. I don't really it's like so being pretty. in an open park with the um, sun. So this park gives it a lot of space and then there's a lot of top a lot of things to do on top of that. Jalisha says Life. that's why she and her family choose Kimball Park in National City. But when we told her about the urban heat study and inequities in black and brown communities, I'm human just like everybody else is human too and we all deserve like some type of kind of air, AC. She's not alone. Jennifer Bernie, professor at the School of Global Policy and Strategy at UC San Diego, says too many people across San Diego are facing an inequality when it comes to staying cool. We're looking at five to ten added degrees right in some of these neighborhoods. Within a city, the structure of the city itself creates additional changes in the environment. And that's what we really are referring to when we talk about urban heat. Even with all these different histories, old cities, new cities, very different geographies, very different populations, um, there's a really persistent uh, racial and ethnic pattern of discrimination. It was not surprising. We have a need for resources. National City Mayor Alejandro Sotelo Solis says it's a problem decades in the making. We see that our communities are suffering. We can't have enough cool zones. We can't have enough spaces to send people to. Jennifer says the fix is also decades in the making. High density buildings, it's going to trap a lot of heat. You've got sort of absorptive materials and a lack of vegetation in a lot of these neighborhoods. That really starts to add up to be this extra heat burden. And a lot of people are definitely looking for ways to cool down as we all go through this heat wave. Now, adding green spaces and trees and a lot of them in communities impacted by urban heat will help them solve that short term problem. For the long term, though, rethinking building materials, color schemes for homes and, of course, AC installation. If you want to take a full look at that study, we have it for you on our website, CBS8.com. Reporting live in National City for CBS8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you.